I know. I know. I say it all the time. Creativity is an addiction. So then why am I saying, get your creativity, put it into a trunk. I'll get my creativity. I'll put it into a trunk. And we got to get life shipped forward. Not shifted, but shipped forward. We, we, we need to get them on the same train, the same boat, the same plane, and we need to work together. We need to find a location where we can take this generation and grow it forward because there's a lot of people just sitting around right now. They're not using their creative energy. They're just sitting around. They're waiting for stimulus checks. They're waiting for the government to send them whatever, 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 whatever. And, and, and we got to get them motivated to put their energy into our process of growing forward. So, so I know, I know creativity is an addiction. But if we don't shine, they won't either. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Scooby Dooby Doo, Badabba Dee, Monster Drinks, and everything in between. How you doing today? Doing good? I'm just uh, starting out on this day, which happens to be July 15th, 2021. My God, I, I feel like that. We just celebrated the 4th of July, like yesterday. The sun is starting to rise, and here we are inside the studio. I've already written for the day because that's that's my daily discipline. I've been doing that for 27 years. How are you doing? What, what, what have you been doing for five years, 15 years, 20 years, 50 years? You know, I, I love it when I get the opportunity to sit down and share a conversation with people who've been married for 50 plus years because they always have something in their eye. They will, they will look at each other and they have this, this little grin. And, and I think, wow, that's you talk about telepathy where they, they can speak to each other without using their words. They, they just say something in their eyes and it's, it just, it just inspires me to want to get older. You know, I, I, I'm very proud of being 59. I have looked forward to being this old, but I don't feel old. And that all goes back to a, a movie promotion that I did where I went into a retirement place and assisted living. I think that's the politically correct way of saying it. And we were doing a movie promotion. And, and I go, uh, why aren't they listening to Frank Sinatra? Where, where's the Bing Crosby? Where, where is uh, you know, all these people? You know, even like Doris Day, why aren't you playing it? And, and the woman in charge goes, what are you talking about? It's, it's all about Bruno Mars. It, it's, it's all about Nicki Minaj. You think there's old people in here? No. There, there are teenagers in here that are trapped in old bodies. That changed me. That changed me. I was like, oh my God. I, I don't have to feel guilty about feeling like I'm always a 16-year-old and, and the rest of me is, is getting older. I, I'm not so weird after all. Put that in your daily discipline. Continue being young. It's not your fault that the, the outside skin or shell is aging. How are you feeling on the inside? I'm 16, man. Oh, and I love it. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the choice. <laughs> this is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Forcing yourself to wake up during a dream. Have you done that before? You just instantly said, whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't true. I'm waking up. I'm very good at that. I really am very good at that because I'm aware of what I'm dreaming, how I'm dreaming, how I want to be dreaming, if you know what I mean. It's just it's just having control of what you dream. And I don't know if that's just a lifelong thing for me because I have some really bad dreams and I need to know that I can get out of them like an escape room. Forcing yourself to wake up from a dream. The term is called lucid. Lucid. Wow. Dreaming while being aware of what you're experiencing. So the experts call it lucid. I knew something was wrong with the dream when word of a huge rock star had passed. And in that dream, I said, no, 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 no. Boom. I was awake just that fast. I instantly woke up. I wasn't going to travel deeper into my REM. It fascinates me, though, to know how strong that we can actually be while disconnected from reality. It's not that I spend every night investigating the moving mental images. I just have this way of realizing when truth can't be taken over by fake news. How then 
do I know my reality? Through Nidra meditation, I have traveled so deep that there have been times that in this meditation that I thought I escaped where I was and I'm still in the meditation. Now, now that right there has scared the crap out of me because it's like, oh my God. And I call that leveling. When you go from different levels to different levels to different levels. And I have been back to three different levels where I thought I woke up. I thought I woke up. I thought, oh my God, I'm still, I haven't, I, I've not come out of this yet. And then when you finally do, you're like going, oh my God. The experts, they actually call that, there, there's, there's a, a term for that. It's called false awakening. And it, it does happen. You may have experienced it. You just didn't know what it was called. But it's called false awakening. Th- this is where we, we think we woke up, but we did not. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what, what got me in, in, into this subject. And, and it's not that I live a life of denial. I just know when something isn't right. And the reason why I know something wasn't right is because the person that I had this dream about has always come across to me as being perfectly healthy. I've heard nothing ever bad about this person when it comes to their personal health. And, and the reason why is because they, they, they've been very public with, I don't drink, I don't take drugs. All I do is I rock and roll. And, and so when it entered me that this person had passed, it was like, no, no. I was like a two-year-old, a child. No, mama, no. I, I dreamed that Gene Simmons had passed away. And, and, and it hit me really hard in my dream. And not only did Gene Simmons pass away, but at the time that I heard that news, I was mourning the loss of Paul McCartney. No, no, that's what I was dreaming. And that's what shot me out of the dream to get me out of this lucid moment of dreaming, to be able to stop the dream and say, I'm calling crap on this. And it, it didn't happen. It, it, it's not going to happen. And, and so, but there was no false awakening here, which is you're, you're at different levels of a dream. I mean, the moment I woke up is the moment that it's, it's like that mental alarm clock. And it, it literally, when I looked at the clock, I was like, oh, well, it's 5 a.m. I got to get up anyway. It's, it's almost like the body clock said, I got to wake you up and I'm going to wake you up with something you're not going to believe. Therefore, when you open your eyes, ta-da, the new day is here. Don't you ever have one of those nights where you just don't want to wake up? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I even researched that today. Do people who die in their dreams, do they really die? I'm going to let you look that subject up because I don't even want to go there. I don't. I. 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 I, uh, 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 uh. Because I, I don't want to plant a seed that the next time that I feel like I'm going to die in my dream that I, that I actually die dreams god almighty they they just they just have this way of taking over everything and i don't like to talk about them but but yet this one was one that i needed to find out what lucid was having the ability to wake up from something that you don't believe that's taking place in a dream it might be one of those things that you, you you'll spend the next month two years working on i just know that i've been able to do it my entire life because i love to dream i just don't like what dreams bring to me i'm arrow and that's what i was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day